Okay, Rabbi Chorot Perek Zayin Mishnah Bet, second Mishnah, the seventh chapter of Masechet Bechorot. Um, we're talking about different mumin blemishes, okay, that are pasul that a coin can't serve in. And we're going to learn in the next Mishnah, I think the next Mishnah, right, in the Bar Tanura, what the difference between all those, the different kinds of, the different kinds of mumin are. We will see. Hakereach pasul, bald man is pasul. Uh oh, what are you going to do? No, not that kind of bald. Ezu kereach, what is considered bald? If he doesn't have a line of hair that surrounds his head from ear to ear. So is it like a line of hair on the top or a line of hair on the back? Okay, it says the Bartunura. Um, it's a back line and not below the fanab and not a front line. Let's look at the, you know, Ragil, regular, bald guy. Shitat say arba kepet me ozen the ozen two possibilities like the, the back line front line so back line you're not considered totally bald if you're totally bald like you Brenner your pasul coin is not eligible to serve uh, in the beta mikdash but if he has that remember if he has that line I raise the kasher elo gvinim if he doesn't have eyebrows or elo elo gvin echad only has one brow okay who gibein amur b'torah. This is the Gibein referred to in the Torah. Now, what are we talking about here? So, that, just so you know, in Vayikra, Perek Chaf Aleph, chapter 21, there's a section that talks about Kohanim, okay? About Mum. These are halachot that are expressed in the Torah. But Rehashem Moshe Lemur, I said God to Moshe. Dabel Aaron Lemur, speak to Aaron. Ish Mizar Achal Adarotam. Asher Yebo Mum. If one of your generational uh, descendants has a Mum, that we're talking about, a blemish, a deformat, deformity. Lo yikrab lakib lechem elohav. You cannot approach to offer the bread of God. I mean, you can't offer the korbanot. He called ish asher yebo mum lo yikrab. Anyone who's a mum ish iver blind o piseach or lame o charum or sarua maimed or anything too long. So now we know what blind is. We know what lame is, sort of. But what is charum and sarua? Or ish asher yoshever regular shever yad broken arm, broken leg. Well, that we know. O giben o dak. Giben, so they translate as crooked back. So the mission is talking about what is Giben and what is Dak, a dwarf. Tavlul be'ino, o garav, o yalefet, o meruach ashech. Dwarf, or garav, yalefet, or verse better, scab, or meruach ashech, hath his stones crushed. So the, this is our, the, the, the topic, the Giben here, is the topic of our Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, if he has eno gvinim, if he has no eyebrows, so what is Giben? So it could be from Gvinim, from eyebrows, but it also could be from Gav, as we'll see. What is a Gav? A bat. And the Gvinim, the mission is if he has no eyebrows, or he only has one brow, Gvin Echad. If he only has one Gvin, one Gvin Echad, and the Kahati says, not the Bartanur, but the Kahati says Gvin Echad, the fair to sell says that the two Gvinim are connected to one another. Unibrow. Who Gibin Amur Torah? So the Tanakhama says that's when the Torah says, back here, Gibin. I have no eyebrows or unibrow. Let's look at our look at our chart. Oh, let's see. One second. Um, it should be here. One second. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. Normali, Gavan, no eyebrows or very big eyebrows. Here we have Imlog Vinachad, unibrow. Okay, and some say he only has one. Okay, one he has one. But that's what that's what the Tiferet says. The Tiferet as well says it. Rabbi Dozon, Rabbi says no. Kol Shigvinav. Shochvim, they lie. Since I wrote Gvinim Arukim, Umutalim Alan, if his eyebrows go over, over his eyes. Is, do we have that here? I guess so. I mean, I've, I've never seen that, but long, long eyebrows. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. Rabbi Chanina ben Antignos Omer says, Rabbi Chanina ben Antignos, Koshi Yesh Lashte Gavim. He has two backs, Ushte Shibro, two spines. So the Bartender says, No, it doesn't have, that's not really true. The Hulo Chai, person has two backs would not survive. You don't live through that. Elokagon Shishidrato Akuma. Rather, his back is, is crooked. It looks like many, uh, many, many backs, and many, many spines. So maybe you have a very crooked spine. Everyone says, all of these, I'm sorry, all of these blemishes are mum. But the question is, what is the Torah mean when it says gibay? Okay, what does the word gibay mean? So one says no eyebrows, or no, one says long eyebrows, and one says crooked back. But all of them are mum in the Torah. We'll stop here, dedicate our learning. Remember, my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman.
make it a great day.